Well, hey guys, uh, welcome to Wasteland Games. Got uh, something different uh, in comparison to usually working on uh, die cast cars. Uh, I'm actually starting to work on building some uh, ships for a billion suns. And I uh, thought I'd show you guys kind of a walkthrough of what I'm doing here. Um, I don't really know what the end result's gonna look like, but obviously at the end of the video, hopefully, or maybe videos, we'll have a, a general, um, I guess, a, a better idea of what this thing turned out to, be, to look like at the end. But uh, to start off, I picked up uh, these zip toggle, uh, heavy duty self drilling anchors. To me, they look like uh, ships all by themselves. And I think it's really cool to use these because if, you, if I zoom in a little bit, um, I can actually build them this way with the uh, the front of the, I guess the, yeah, let's just say the front of the ship, uh, kind of lower on, on this side. And if I want to make a different type of cruiser, I can actually flip it over and put that on the top. So I can make almost like two classes of, of ships with this. And um, the package I bought, actually I've got 10. So this was about $12, you get 10 of these ships. Uh, I'm not gonna haul them all out, but I got basically I got 10 of them. And um, and then next to that, I actually bought, because of the engine, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna sand this off. Um, sorry, there's actually some text, some numbers, you know, basically calling it, um, you know, what it is, basically a zip, toggle on the on here. So I'm gonna sand that down. Uh, not that I really, really have to, but I also picked up, um, like I don't really have to sand that off because these are gonna get, uh, these are gonna cover them, but, I grab these compression sleeves. Uh, they're basically a half inch. Um, I went to the store and basically opened this package up there just to make sure that it was actually gonna do what I wanted it to do. And ah, I'm gonna tell you actually, uh, I'm just kinda, past couple of weeks, uh, some of the reason why my videos have been a little low is I've, uh, I actually fell off my bike and wiped out uh, really, really well. Um, so I've been kind of healing uh, from that and my hand is still somewhat sore, um, just to be expected, but uh, mainly I, uh, I kind of uh, damaged some ribs and uh, scraped up um, pretty much everything <laughs> on the one side of my body. So I've been kind of healing from that and uh, getting there starting to feel a little better so anyway so I bought these couplings I got a uh, quarter inch and I guess a half inch as well so the idea will be here to uh, I don't show you these right now so the glue um, basically to create an engine I was thinking about using some smaller ones in here kind of like along the lines of the Star Wars thrusters, uh, but I may still end up making like some kind of th side thruster or just not really worry about it. I actually thought that the screw opening here was pretty much really good for um, generally like a, an exhaust or sorry, the thruster itself. But I thought, you know, maybe I'll put like this one in the middle and then this on the outside and then you get yourself like a pretty nice looking ring there, right? So. Once that's all painted, uh, I mean, the idea is also to keep it simplified and I'm doing this in a way that, you know, other people can kind of replicate it. Um, I did actually try to go out and buy some like parts, like I got one of these uh, robots here with some ship parts. I actually like the uh, the gun turret. Uh, I bought two of those. Um, so I really want, I really need three because what I want to do is make three ships one class and three ships a different class. So I'm going to try to um, maybe make some like battle cruisers out of these. I'm not going to use these ones. I'm going to actually leave the, leave this for something like a, like a Gaslands car or something instead. You know, that actually looks pretty decent. Um, this one's actually around here because I think this engine itself looks like a spaceship. So um, since I'm making some ships, I'm actually going to take this one apart in another episode and maybe turn that into just a small ship. But anyways, like a bounty hunter ship or something very independent. Uh, but for this build, we're going to do... Um, these three and basically crazy glue on the um, the engine itself or create the engine really so I'm gonna try to open these packages without slicing into myself um, but uh, first things first I'm gonna actually sand this down and 
get started on okay. the gluing. So I got uh, got everything sanded off here for the most part. That looks pretty good. You can kind of see it a, a little bit, but you know, once I glue all these engine pieces on, um, you're not going to see it. And uh, you know, I didn't really want to make make it too much longer than it is. So I really want to try to keep this ship, you know, about this long and. Because of there's already a hole here, I'm actually gonna make sure that I can mount this on to a flying base. I may not use this one. This one actually is from my um, uh, Yamato uh, Star Blazers uh, game setup. I actually have a, a Yamato vintage ship that I've never used. Um, so I'm not gonna mess around with this too much, but it's just kind of here for, uh, for fun, really. But it's gonna be, I'm gonna find my uh, standard games workshop um, flying bases that I've got and use those instead. Um, just gotta use whatever I got around, but I gotta figure out where I put them because I have a bad habit of putting things away and then just forgetting what, what, I, what I've done with them. But anyways, um, that's the goal. Let's uh, work on getting these glued in right now. Starting with the smaller section. Uh, I'm going to assume that... Oh, and just before I forget, so I've got another class of ships that I want to build as well um, using drywall anchors. So I'm going to try these out. There's also some ones that have the like sort of like um, like almost like a corkscrew kind of uh, kind of effect on it. So Thinking about make like a variety of ships over over time, so I, I thought these were pretty cool. When you take them apart, um, the nail that comes out uh, looks pretty interesting. And there's a piece of ground, sorry, ground green plastic here that I was originally going to use as a thruster for this this model. But uh, what I may end up doing is taking it out off the front of this and then using it as a thruster at the back of this one. So creating like it's totally separate class of ship with its own thruster at the back and then it's got kind of a unique sort of body structure. I'm going to see if there's a way that I can still uh, put something in the middle here and uh, still be able to use it as a ship, well, like a different class of ship, but still kind of got the hardware-esque uh, kind of theme going on. So let's work on gluing these things together and see what they turn, turn out to be. So I'm just gonna make like a little hole in this first. And then hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay, so let's practice, do a practice run where we're gonna put it. Okay, looks like it can go nicely. There is a circle, I mean obviously there's a, there's a bit of a circle around here, so. Oh, it's like a gel. See, I wanted to buy a different, um, I don't know if I like this as well. All right, uh, you know what? We're going to uh, dab some of that off. It's not the crazy glue I wanted to buy today from the dollar store. It's a, usually I buy these like three packs, but um, the one that I went to didn't seem to have it. Of course, this is going to be a little bit messy on my fingers. I'm thinking now I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. The idea is to try to get, get it centered as much as I can. I think that's pretty centered. I mean, it could be a little better. I guess with it being a little bit well, it's good that it, it is. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put like a little bit more around here in the middle. And then uh, let's see if we can glue ooh, the outside ring as well. Uh, looks pretty good. Once I get the outside ring on, then we'll know for sure if it's centered. Oops, it'd be nice if I did it on camera, right? All right. Yeah, actually this is not too bad. 
The other stuff is really, really runny. So in this case, this is actually a little, in a, in a way it's actually a little better because then I can kind of not have to worry about it running all over the place and then getting on my fingers. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this around a little bit. Ah, got on my fingers. Got to be careful. Don't want to mess it up too much. Even though I plan to hopefully put some kind of um, I don't know, details on these rings. I don't know, what do you think? Put a little bit of pressure on that. Okay. Okay, so I got uh, three ships made so far. Well, mainly just the engines are done, I should say. So I got them glued to the main part of the, uh, the ship itself. So I think that looks pretty pretty darn close in terms of being center, I hope. Of course, I might actually look at it in a different light and it might be uh, a little off. Uh, so hard to tell. It's pretty, uh, it's glued on there pretty good though with this crazy glue. Um, so for the next step, I'm going to start looking at figuring out how to put like some weapons on this. Like what I haven't even got the rule book yet and I wouldn't mind actually waiting to uh, build these things properly, but I'm going to try to figure out what I can do in terms of um, like originally, I actually, I wanted to put some Hot Wheels car parts on here. I even considered using um, wheels actually for the rear engine um, as opposed to coming up with something like this. But uh, I think actually I like this better. Kind of kind of finishes off the model. Uh, but what I want to start doing is figuring out how to put uh, cargo on, on the decks themselves or if these are going to be fighting ships. Uh, I'm looking at using these like um, motherboard switches and I think they could look like weapons or whatever I want really. Um, they've got basically like some holes there as you can see. So if I put them on here, uh, I can make them look like upper deck guns or something. And if I can put like one, maybe one here, turn one way and another, like space them out or something. I don't know, I'm gonna let this uh, dry a little bit more. The other thing too, is I gotta figure out which side I wanna build it on. So I like the fact that there's this like design here uh, on this, on basically on the, the deck itself. So I kind of don't want to cover that up. It actually looks pretty cool. So if I decide to use it this way, um, this is going to be the upper part for this particular class, or this is going to be the top uh, deck of this class. So I'm almost thinking because of the way this is designed here, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to keep figuring that out what I want to do, because I want to make two different classes of ships, basically using the same kind of body, uh, or I don't know, in this case, the, you know, this whatever this is here, this um, uh, mount, what do you call it? The uh, heavy duty, the drilling anchor, sorry. Um, yeah, using the same anchor for different classes. I think that actually be smart, plus I got 10 of them. So I can make a few different uh, versions of this particular ship out of, uh, you know, one, one type of uh, one type of anchor, and then maybe do some variations of like what's actually mounted to it. Um, as well as turning it around because it's in a way it's almost like it's two different ships you know like if you uh if you flip it over um you get a different look in general so anyways that's something i'm going to try to figure out how to how to uh, come up with that and plus actually trying to find like three i want to make them almost the same um i'm also considering putting some like uh obviously not this one but um you know, some wiring and stuff like that on it as well. So to try to figure out a way to put some uniqueness that way too. Um, there's also other things like like this one here. Um, you know, originally I thought like, oh, maybe I can use like, use one to make like a, a rocket or something on the side or maybe get some plastic ones of these and make like little boosters on the side here or something like that. So, or even like really crazy having three of these like together, but I almost think that it makes more sense to do it this way, actually. Make like a separate type of ship if you kind of mount them somehow together. 
almost like a Star Trek ship, you know, with some nacelles, you know, you have like the main body of the ship and then you have like this other piece sort of glued to the side. Anyways, I'll figure that out. Let's see if I can put like little, these are like little beads that I picked up a long time ago. I'm going to see if they look good as some kind of, um, uh, some kind of a decoration perhaps. This one does not want to cooperate. Oh my god. Hold on. Let's try that one again. <laughs> okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Man, oh man. All right, I just realized what was going on here. So the actual tip of these um, anchors are a little, as you can see, they're not perfectly flat. So this side's actually a little higher than this side. I mean, it's not a big deal, but um, it's just something to be aware of. If you decide to actually use these, like I've been doing here, uh, they're not going to be perfect. So that's just totally fine. I mean, it's going to look like it's a little, um, I don't know, it's a little off. I'm wondering if I don't even bother with that instead. Just leave the front the way it is so you don't see that as much. And just put more, something else in the back instead. Because it's actually more even in the back. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to take these off and not worry about it figure out something else instead of that so anyways yeah I guess that might be enough for today